Hey everyone, welcome to the Enter the Shell show. We're King Washington, and uh, I'm going to sing to you the legend of Red Mahogany. I just switched my uh, cell phone, and uh, I, I had a 3GS, and now I have uh, an iPhone 4S. I didn't go for the 5 just because I was too much into the uh, 3GS ecosystem. And, okay. right? Well, I, I went to 5. I went straight to 5. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I wanted that big screen, man. You can't beat that. It's awesome. Yeah, but then you got to change out your your whole um, car system if if you have a yeah. you know a, a, a car charger. I, I actually did home buy a charger. mount. I bought a mount for my Prius for my five, so I have my my five just sits right there staring at me as I drive. Right. Which is pretty sweet. Now I'm very curious because uh, on the iPhones, this is the way it works. I'm I'm not sure the way it works with the regular phones, uh, but you can do either you can look at the battery or you can give it a percentage, 
right? I was doing the percentage. I just started the percentage to see uh, what my battery was like throughout the day. And it drove me crazy because it was never always at 100. And that just, yeah. it just drove me crazy. So finally I said, you know what? I got to stop from this percentage shit. And I need to just go back to the visual. And now my life is finally normal. Uh, uh, do you I do, do the? Percent, I do percentage. Okay. And I will say the iPhone 5 does drain a lot quicker. But uh, I would say that's neither here nor there. <laughs> but it, it is true. Yeah. Now, when I did buy this uh, phone, uh, I did get a case. And uh, this is not a, a complete celebrity endorsement, although it should be. Uh, but I did get an OtterBox. Uh, are you familiar with the OtterBox? Yes, very durable. Extremely durable. And I just got made fun of uh, the other day. I was hanging out at my local uh, bar. And uh, I, I pulled out the OtterBox. And I set it down right right at the bar so I can visually look at it, uh, you know, without actually having to just set it down and then having to, you know, peer over it. Now it's like it's my own little mini screen. And someone's like, that's made for construction workers, you know, not made for just the average Joe. Those are heavy duty. Very heavy duty. They're pretty bulky, too, which is why I, I've actually, I actually go no case. I've always been a no case a no guy case kind of guy. And how long has that uh, phone lasted? I've never had to replace a phone, never cracked a screen. I did crack the back of my uh, iPhone 4. Okay. The back of it, though. Wow, you're very particular about your things. I like that. I am, yeah. <laughs> Some might call it OCD. Yeah. Meanwhile, Billy over here is... so on hip with my yeah. Android phone <laughs> over here. Totally. What is that? It's a Verizon Galaxy Nexus from Samsung. But I've taken it off of the Verizon service, and I use it only on Wi-Fi, which is free, because I'm living the musician's life, right. not wanting to pay Monopoly <laughs> too much money for a phone that doesn't give me enough service. That's right. So now I have even less service, <laughs> but for free. <laughs> I knew a man who gave up love Who never had the chance to be a part of So he sold his car And he pawned his mind And he itched to ride along old highway nine When you run away When you fight for pain You could change your town But you'll still be the same A passerby A nameless face A man who came and went And was erased Sobriety All the damn demands That take so much from me And liquid minds Unraveled souls We're all just victims of the overload
I knew a man who gave up love. Don't ever lose your chance to be a part of. So there, there, there it is. Uh, the uh, email back horn. The was it the uh, the horn of a thousand emails? And uh, I'm about to show you guys something. This is crazy. You see this? This is this is what they call a letter oh. <laughs> that I actually received. Right? Cool. What is that archaic? It's like <laughs> snail mail. It's snail mail. Wow. So yes, people, you can either email me or guess what? You could send me a letter. It's so much more how personal. You, how do you do wonderful. that? Uh, well, you can do it many of ways. Uh, the address is on entertheshell.com in the uh, sticker program uh, part of uh, Enter the Shell. Because uh, if you, I don't know if you like Enter the Shell and you want to, you know, help us grow, you know, we we would love money. <laughs> money is always a good thing, too. Uh, I always say that, you know, I myself feel like a struggling band all the time because much like yourselves, uh, you know, I'm trying to get swag. I'm trying to, you know, put the name out there. And um, I'm always curious about what people think about the show and everything else. So anytime I can get an email or, or whatever, it's always great. But like I said, it was a such a surprise. I got a letter. So I'm going to read this over the air. Uh, and this was from um, the last show that I did. It was with a band from uh, San Francisco who, you know, I'm uh, completely just overwhelmed. They, they, they drove from San Francisco to L.A. just to meet me and just to come on to the show because they really like what i'm doing and i was just like Phew. you know oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah have you ever felt like you were just like oh for a little old me like oh, yeah. i'm not really that important i'm just you know a guy trying to just live out his dream so let me read it to you guys so it goes uh yo turtle uh thanks again for everything your hard work dedication to what you believe in and sharing your vision and vibes with us we had an amazing time in L.A. and Enter the Shell was such a big part of it. And they actually drew a smiley face. No like emoticon or anything like that. This is truly legit. Um, and now this is what I like. If we can all inspire and empower each other to live our dreams, what could be more amazing than that? Thanks again for doing what you do and uh, empowering artists. Uh, keep rocking it at Enter the Shell, and we'll be looking forward to meeting up with you again in LA. Lots of NR hugs, the Ilfo and M. So that's the letter that I got. So uh, nice. thank you guys that's so great. much. How yeah. do you feel knowing what their handwriting looks like? Um, uh, if, really good, really good. Because um, so okay, so hopefully they're not listening to this, but I just sent them an, an, a, a letter back because I sent them an email saying, thank you for everything. And then I was just like, you know what? A letter deserves another letter. So what I did was, now here's, here's the thing. This is something that I'm really into is um, I don't believe in buying cards. Uh, I, I don't know, Billy, if I, I'm kind of like with Billy here, it's like cards are so impersonal. It's like, I'm going to go out and buy somebody else's words. So what I like to do is I like to go get a piece of paper and I, and I have tons of crayons and then I just create my own magical card for them. So uh, for them, I created this real, I wish I would have taken a picture, but I didn't because I just wanted this just for them. So I, I created, cause uh, this band is a big synth band. So I made my own nerd revolt synth and the way I did it was uh, I, it's cool like uh there, there was a paper and then there was like a little divot in the paper for the actual you know keys and then up on top i drew like the little knobs and stuff like that and then i wrote them a nice little personal uh letter and then you know i, I put a little joke saying that uh what was the joke it was like um it was you guys are a synth against nature i don't know i thought it was funny sweet right <laughs> my like humor it. is my humor i don't know so that was it. So hopefully they're not listening, um, but uh, they, if they are... They'd they, appreciate the shout-out, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. And, and I sent them some Enter the Shell stuff. I, I had some patches made because uh, now I'm starting to create my own... Um, like I said, I'm a big believer in, in doing my own things. So I, I'm you know, launching my own uh, T-shirt line or my own clothing line. I call it Tortuga Wear. And this is, this is one of them. 
And um, in the back, I actually went out and I bought uh, EnterTheShell.com patches, and I'm physically hand sewing each, you know, uh, shirt and each. Be I have beanies now and all this other stuff. So I'm, I'm cool. yeah, you know, because I've got some cool merch like that, some beanies and backpacks and cool stuff. But here's the, I'm finding all the, the hipster kids. Yeah. yeah. I'm I'm recycling all my stuff though. Like if if I see a bag, I'm like, oh man, I could put an end of the shell dot com patch on there. King Washington mustaches. That'd be cool. <laughs> maybe maybe even just a King Washington, you know, whatever yeah, that is. A, a cardboard <laughs> cutout of George Scepters. Washington, like. Yeah, crowns. We should no the white wig the white wig with oh, crown. Oh yeah, yes, powdered wigs. Powdered wigs, yeah. I think we should make that would be awesome. pass them out for the a scepter, a new hipster apparel accessory. Hipsters with scepters walking yeah. around like royalty. <laughs> and then we can give King Washington scepters. There it is. You guys heard it here first. Uh, so for more information on the scepters, log on to kingwashingtonmusic.com and I'm sure uh, it'll sell them for the bargain price of like 19.99 or something like that, right? So this song I'm going to sing is called Selling Out. It's from our, our first album, The Gears, and it was written by our uh, dear friend Dylan Cronin. Yeah, again, it's called Selling Out. So many minds that read Some the left on the track And a change of pace You just got your license back This is where I'm selling out Here is where I pick you off This is where I look is where I leave my heart and This is where I make believe and Here is where I sing my song There's a girl waiting back for me The last one was a joke Some people hope and walk away Yeah, they leave it in park Hear yeah, what's best in life I do it now for today This is where I'm selling out Here is where I pick sing my song There's a girl waiting back for me The last one was a joke And I'm putting it all away I'm putting Selling out I'm selling out I'm selling out So many minds that read